at 5. An Ohio man is charged with OVI after failing a sobriety test, but he was not drunk. He's autistic, and he's not the only example of this confusion. Well, now there's a proposal to create a registry aimed at helping police communicate when people have disabilities. And News Vice Mona Kozar Abdi joins us. And Mona, you found out this registry would be voluntary, right? That's right, Frank. The idea is that individuals with disabilities can choose to register with the disability with the BMV. The information would be available to law enforcement through the program they use to make traffic stops. But some say this bill raises more questions than it provides answers. Like I was trying to say, uh, please, less people, less people. I'm overwhelmed. I On a dark February night, snow packed roads sent Nathan Morgan's car sliding off the road. Oh, my heart was pounding. Officers rushing to his aid. But Morgan, who's on the autism spectrum, says instead of a feeling of relief, he was overcome with panic. I just felt very um, overwhelmed. Uh, the banging on the window, the lights blaring. Triggers, I, he says, for someone with sensory processing issues. Asking if I had anything to drink, and I was just getting more and more disoriented. Morgan says he eventually was able to reach his mother, who helped him communicate with officers. Now two Ohio lawmakers have come up with a policy to address these types of incidents. Their proposed bill would create a voluntary registry through the BMV, which would alert officers of a driver's disability. What's difficult for law enforcement or for other members of the community is that a person with autism presents as an individual. Milestone's Autism Resources Executive Director Ilana Hofferskopf believes such a program would prevent body language from getting lost in translation. The law enforcement individual may come over and want to be helpful, but the person with autism may interpret that as being aggressive. And Morgan says it goes both ways. I could have looked drunk, I could have looked high, I could have really looked like I could have been a potential danger. But Morgan also believes the bill raises some privacy risks that aren't addressed. Fives, for instance, were to uh, sign up on the registry. I wouldn't want my my information to accidentally be leaked or shared with the public. He also adds further training for officers would complement the policy. He really stressed that education for officers as well. And State House representatives heard testimony from supporters of the House Bill 115 just last week. In the studio, Monaco Sarabdi, News 5.